Alright guys, I'm going to start putting together uh, Chipotle's copycat recipe. They actually just released the recipe, well, it's not even a recipe, just the ingredients that they use. And, um, and yeah, so I'm going to put it together because I have been craving some good guac. So they, Chipotle um, in the recipe or the ingredient list um, says to cut half of a jalapeno. So that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know which way I'm going to go. I mean, it's just to finely chop. So I guess I'm just going to go in this way and then start cutting small, you know, them smaller. I like spicy. Um, I've grown to like spicy. I used to not. And it has been something, and it says to also leave, you know, keep the seeds as well. So add the seeds and all of that into your concoction of guac. Um, I'm super excited to try this though. I love Chipotle. Um, they are amazing. All right, there's finely chopped jalapenos. Next is a quarter of a red onion. So I usually, when I make my guacamole, I only use yellow onions. So this is going to be interesting. Um, come on, to use red onion so and I do taste I know you know when I have the red onion at Chipotle or the guacamole at Chipotle I do taste this red onion so um, I'm going to take this skin off and cut this up y'all just like cutting this up these all these you know the scents of all of the vegetables it is like well first of all I'm like trying not to cry but it is starting to smell exactly like Chipotle's guacamole. I'm loving it. Now I'm going in and getting my guac separated from the and I'm just getting it ready. I'm going to use a spoon to get it out and I'm just y'all this smell is unreal. Okay so we're getting this all in there and we're going to mash up once we and there you have it and now I'm going to mash it up look at that and that's before anything is in it and we're putting in our jalapenos some um, and some of it the onions I didn't cut up too fine because I just didn't have time but if you are not a fan of onions I would recommend cutting them up even more because um, I like I said I didn't cut up as much as I should have it'll still be good so right now y'all I have the bad lighting I have red onion in there and I have the jalapenos and I'm putting in my salt one fourth teaspoon of salt and now we're cutting up our cilantro and it's about two tablespoons of cilantro and I'm just honestly just kind of winging it I like cilantro I think it makes everything like any Mexican dish just taste amazing so I'm just kind of winging it here but yeah two tablespoons of cilantro last but not least cutting up the lime and I'm just squeezing in the juice and that was about a half of a lime but I think it calls I'm not sure that I'm gonna put that in the description below what exactly the ingredients are but y'all it looks amazing like I said the red onion is kind of big but a oh, lot didn't feel like chopping it that small I just want to just maybe I will mm. taste test mmm y'all really need to try it if y'all like Chipotle's guac you're gonna love this because you can kind of doctor it the way you want it and, and make it exactly how you like things so guys be sure to try it and let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys later